This is a Healy Shaw model that represents groundwater recharge on an island that flows to a surrounding lake. A Healy Shaw model is two plates with a small spacing between them that is filled with viscous liquid. Flow lines in a Healy Shaw model follow the same principles as flow lines in a homogeneous porous medium such as sand. The configuration of the plastic model includes a no flow boundary on the bottom as well as along the curved surfaces on each side. There is a constant head boundary along the top where recharged water enters the system. The water level of each side reservoir is controlled by adjusting a valve that determines outflow to the lake and thus the water level in the reservoir. The die shows the path of water flow from where it recharges at the surface to where it exits at the lake. We can see that the valve on the left is allowing slightly more outflow than the right because the die advances more rapidly on the left. Although water levels in the side reservoirs appear to be the same, the level in the left reservoir is actually slightly lower than the water in the right. I backed up the video so that you can watch that portion again. We can tell the difference in flow rate to the left and right is not large because the groundwater divide develops close to the midway point between the reservoirs. For each side of the system, the difference in head from entry to exit is the same for all flow paths. The head difference is equal to the water level in the upper reservoir minus the water level in the side reservoir. Although the head difference is the same for each flow path, the velocity of flow is higher along the shallow flow path because the distance between the heads is shorter, so the gradient is steeper.